Hi y'all. This ice cream truck is going off outside, but I'm currently standing in the kitchen because I suddenly had the urge to cook. And for the last like three months, I haven't really had much of an urge to cook. Like I would still cook here and there, but I haven't really had much of the urge to cook. And that's mainly because for the last six years in my like six years in my relationship, five years in my marriage, I've been cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. Non-stop, whether it be meal prepping or cooking, dinner this day, lunch that day, whatever, I've just been cooking non-stop and so, I just came to the point where I'm like, yeah, I don't have to be cooking like that anymore. This is the United States of America. Sometimes you eat out. And so, because of that, and because my friend thoroughly enjoys cooking, I have not been stressing myself to cook as much. But then I have these one-off moments where, oh, Turn this bad boy down a little bit. Last time I cooked, I cooked some um so last time I cooked I, I made some stew chicken. But like I'm saying, like every now and then I have these one-off moments where I just feel like okay, I could cook something, or like I feel like eating something or whatever the case is, and then I will make that. Outside of this, I I eat whatever. And then because I've been um working out lately, I've been trying to eat a little bit differently and so I was ODing on like the chicken salads and like other things that are quicker for a while but now I randomly went in the fridge today at 7 40 p.m. and feel like I want to make some stew pork so I'm doing that with some white rice because it's been a minute but we chefing it up today okay all right so that's what I'm doing right now it's pretty much the end of the day and I and I spent all day trying to get myself out of a mental rut and I successfully managed to do that so now I'm kind of rewarding myself by cooking. Long time I haven't felt like cooking was a reward but here we are. We move. Anyways, I'm going to do that and then after doing that I'm going to pop in the shower and pretty much hop in bed and chill because tomorrow I work all day so that's going to be a long day. So um, yeah, that should be fun. Not really, but that should be fun nonetheless. Gotta work. But yeah. today is a rainy day but I'm on the road today because I have 
an appointment, but not really an appointment. I have to be at two places. So I have to go to this office to pick something up. And then I have to go to my job to drop what I'm picking up from the office off. And then I get to go home for the rest of the day. Today, I want to see if I can knock out a workout because honestly, I'm off today. And yesterday, I wanted to try and work out when I went home, but I was that, that was not the vibe. So it's currently 10.46 a.m. <sighs> It's currently 10 46 a.m and so by the time i get back to the office it's gonna be well after 11 and my job isn't far from the office so like it should be like an easy one to to like go from the office to my job to drop off the paper and then i'm pretty good for the most part but um yeah i've been up since early my hair looks crazy because of course this morning it would be raining raining bad okay so because it was raining so bad um my hair got wet a little bit when i like was walking and just the whole time my hair just got wet and one thing about my hair when it's raining and when it's too hot it don't stay down at all so like right now the only parts that are staying down are like the little sides but like it's fine so um that's what i have planned for today and then i'm gonna go home one of my friends should be coming over today not really sure i have to wait to see how that kind of plays out but the plan is for my friend to come over today so i don't really know i can't wait to go home i just want to sleep like on my day offs all i really want to do is just chill in bed and allow my body to rest because i be feeling like i'm so so tired 